Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today we are bringing back another Minecraft World Tour episode for episode number 3 which is the Modern Oriental Home. So this home is based basically as you can see here, it's based just around in this little pond or <clears throat> kind of bay area and it's a little island almost right in the middle and it's very cool. It's very um it has a lot of exotic Asian concepts in it and you could tell when we walk through it's very open based. As you can tell, maybe within even looking in, that um, you can tell that it's if you went into an oriental home almost, um, you would see stuff like this. And also, we did have to use a texture pack. So as you can see, these are the blocks and what they look like and everything. And the texture pack I'm using for this is the Modern HD1. So as you can see there, it's by Mickey210. I think it's how it's pronounced. But yeah, that is the texture folder you use. And it just makes everything look a little bit more modern. It's very cool. So just some of the stuff that's included in here is the bamboo for looks. There's ancient wood, or at least the wood that's used for it. looks ancient and everything. Stone walls, it's very open. When you get in, you'll realize that it's a very open concept. There's basically like no walls dividing up stuff. Every once in a while there is, but other than that, it's very open. When On each floor, it's very open. It's, it's pretty cool. There's three bedrooms. There's two upstairs and then one downstairs, and there's two bathrooms as well. There's one upstairs and one downstairs. So we're just going to head off here. And we're going to go over the nice bridge here. So as you can see, there's a sign right when you walk in. It says, Welcome to the Modern Oriental Home. So it says, Please read the description on the website. So all the stuff that I just said there about the little, de a little like details on this, that was it. So as you can see, the sugar cane here is used as the bamboo, which is very cool. And I really like this pathway. I like how it's broken up. It's got water every so often. And you walk in. There's not even the door. You walk in, and as you can tell... You like when I say open concept, it is very open concept. Like everything is just very open. It is very cool. So as you can see over here, there's just little like lounge areas and everything as you can see right here. Lounge areas where you can just talk and everything. And if you wanted to make like, like base your world off like an Asian city and that, this is definitely a cool little starter thing to do. And uh, so yeah, so here's the dinner table here. And as you can see, the bamboo is just right in the middle there and the, there's invisible blocks covering it off so you can't walk through it or anything. And I don't know about the bamboo because I mean when you're eating, uh, I guess it's on like either side but I mean if you wanted to talk to a person diagonal to you it would be kind of hard but other than that again it's a very cool um, concept that you could see by the ancient wood here. And this is all, I'm not sure if this is the stone or this is like um, quartz or anything, I'm not 100% sure. As you can see wood is used a lot and look at these little things, they're like little trees I guess or even plants and they're pretty cool how they do it it's very unique I guess would be the way to put it and the glass they seem to be using is black stained glass it makes everything look a little bit tinter when you're outside and I'll actually do a time set day so there you go so yeah as you can tell it's very tinted even when it's daytime out so here we have just the typical kitchen here we have the nice little faucet stove area here oh what oh that's the furnaces it actually looks like a legit stove that is so cool oh my god yeah it's very cool i'm not really sure i'm the, oh geez i accidentally broke that we're just gonna walk away pretend like nothing happened and look at like i love the glowstone look on this the glowstone looks so cool in this texture pack i really like it but as you can see they all have like it just it looks like a very I guess oriental home would be the best way to put it and you have this nice little kind of design right in the middle of the room and we're going to come out back here and I'm just going to pick up that sign pretend like nothing happened just get out of my heart bar there just kind of uh, hey look gone um, as you can see out here there's a nice little fountain I really like this fountain I really like how it's used and everything like that and here it is again with those giant trees and I'm pretty sure if you go to some Asian places and that um, you'll see trees like this color very bright and very like cute and oh my god I really like them and being placed here is like perfect and this is just a nice little backyard area and you can walk through these ones here there's no invisible block so you can walk through those ones and get kinda out throughout your world this way if you wanted to it's very cool and I like what they did with the slabs here as well very very cool so as we walk through this area here this is just another part of the backyard and they just decided to put I guess stone slabs or um uh, quartz slabs. I'm not. I think these ones are the stone slabs. I think, but uh, they kind of put them all around. Have the tall grass every so often. It's just a nice. Li it's very peaceful. That's probably the best way to explain it. It is a very peaceful area when you come out in the back. You have the vines and bushes and that coming down. Very very cool. So we're just gonna head around here, and there's just a sign say dedic 
uh, dedicated wham is required for this map oh it must be something I don't think I have but anyway so you're coming in here and again with the, like it's almost like a light coming down from the ceiling very cool and I love this man if you like if my house had water just hanging out all around my area every so often like look just everywhere just has water coming through that is so cool I really like that so next thing we're gonna do here is actually just hop upstairs before we go outside and then downstairs so again when you come up here it's very very open like it just and look at these these are like the lion statues that you see in front of houses every so often and oh it's it's so cool how they just think of this kind of stuff and how everything looks with it, it looks very very cool so yeah as you can see you come through here you have a nice little sitting area where you're able to talk with your friends and everything coming down just sitting down talking with your friends have a nice little coffee table here for everything and I believe in here is one of the bathrooms yes yes it is so as you can see we have the sink in that we have the toilet here you could close and open the lid we have a nice little kind of sitting area or I'm not sure if that no I wouldn't even be a sitting area that'd be like the counters I guess and then you have your shower going in here and you'd have a nice little shower. this is this is huge this is okay okay calm down uh, let's see did I type that in right I did cool but uh as you can see it's very big and still it's open concept like there's no door there's no like actual legit walls they have the fences coming through to block it off it's it's very cool I like it a lot and then when we come through these double doors here with the pressure plate this is the first bedroom so as you can see they kind of have a little sitting area here and then here's the master I, I think this would be a master bedroom because I mean look at the view I mean like these windows are huge I think every room kinda has something like this but look how big this is it's huge and it's very cool like I like that a lot have a nice little design here and I like it because again like it's not walls all the way up to the ceiling it's very open on the top there and it just gives you that little bit of privacy you need other than that like there's glass right above the doors here other than that it's fine we're gonna come in here again and I believe this is the other bedroom this looks like a nice little guest bedroom or anything so you just come in here and there's no doors throughout this whole thing I'm pretty sure other than the main bedroom here so you just kinda of walk in and it's just, just boom you can fall asleep right here and look at that you get a view oh this view I think is almost better than that one but I think that one just because it has a mountain right in front of it this one just goes on for days oh it's it's very very nice very nice but yeah, that's basically the upstairs. It's not much again. And I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a TV or not. I'm probably getting that way wrong. But uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a TV or not. So next thing we'll do before we head out downstairs is just go to the right here. And this, again, is just a nice little patio area. And it's just, oh, it's it's very, I always get the peace. I'm always going to say peaceful just because it's just like you, you're, seclu you're secluded. But it just, it has everything. You have a nice little fireplace and the flame, like, particles on this look so cool in this texture pack I really like that and again it's just open like no matter where you look it has like a view of something of your world and it's it's nice it's nice oh these I didn't even realize these paintings were like this oh that is so cool it's like actually a realistic photo of one of the buildings and again you have like the vines coming down and everything and it just makes it feel more oriental like it's just something that if you went to some places it, it would look like this and that would be oh the sun's cool too I like how it does that but um and it just it's the feeling you'd get if you even went to these places and look at this I don't know if that I know it's like multiple trees together but look at that it all kind of blended in perfectly oh that is very cool very cool so we're gonna actually go down this area here next and just constantly hit my head and this is I'm not sure if this is almost like a meditating area or like just kind of like a place where you can go meditate kind of be one with yourself type deal um, but this is the feeling I get with it but I'm probably way wrong and I'm not 100% sure but as you can see in here it's just another kind of little spare bedroom here um, I guess if you have another guest they'd be coming down here to sleep very cool and then again with the bamboo bamboos all over this place it just gives that feeling of the oriental home again and in here I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a sauna or anything or almost because I feel like with all of this flame around here it's supposed to almost feel like a sauna and you just kind of hang out in here you know rest just feel all with one with yourself again with the bamboo nice little banner there too I really like that banner another washroom here so as you can see there's just the toilet again we have the nice little sink and this is cool this actually has like water and you just be like chilling in here it's like yep taking a nice shower so nice then you come in here and this is like what I feel would be like the meditation area almost is where you're coming in here you just relax you put your feet in the it's almost like a mini hot tub but not really a hot tub like a pool 
I guess would be the best way to put it. And you just come in here and you just hang out and just, just talk and just very peaceful. And these almost look like fridges. I'm not sure if that's what they're supposed to be, but they literally look like fridges. And this is just a shower, as you can tell by the nice little faucet here. You could take a shower if you'd like. I believe the other side is just the same thing. Yeah, just the same thing. Another main shower here. You could have a shower. I like it down here. It's down in the basement. I understand it kind of sucks, but it's cool be in the other hand because it's like, oh, pause my game accidentally there. Because it's just like, it's you're secluded. You're alone. You're just peaceful. It's very nice. And again, with the bamboo everywhere. It just makes it even give that more little kind of peaceful touch here. So we'll go back up the stairs here and then head downstairs back into the house there. I really like those paintings. They're really cool. So as we come in here, and this looks like where you could also eat dinner or kind of have like a casual drink or anything with uh, your friends and that, where you just come down. And I know with the Asian cultures, they eat on the floor. Like they don't have chairs sometimes when they eat. And they'll just cross their legs and have a nice little like tea or some food or anything around here and like again this is very very cool I like the prismarine the wood here and it, it just fits that like oriental home feeling a lot and it, it's very cool but that's basically gonna be this episode it might have been a shorter episode than last but there wasn't much too much to show um, and I really like these stairs too they're not really stairs they're kinda just slabs but you just kinda hop up them and it makes it makes it look more stary like almost I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm saying but that is going to be the end of this episode. Like I said, there wasn't much to show, but this is very cool. I like how everything looks, and I'm sorry for breaking the little piece there, but this is very cool in how it looks, and I like how you can just come out here and just you're out in the wilderness almost, and it's very cool, but it's up to you. If you guys end up downloading the map, the link for the map will be in the description below. Oh, look how big those mushrooms are. Jesus. Um, you guys can download it if you want, and you can guys can expand on this. You can make like a nice little neighborhood around here. Or you can make like uh, even a city, like you have a neighborhood going into a city. Like There's so many things you could do with this texture pack. And with the modern, since it's a modern look um, with the texture pack, then you're able to just, you're able to just like make the buildings look like today buildings. They don't look like old or rustic or anything. I'm going to climb up the line here, get over to the entrance again. But it's very cool. I really like it a lot. And uh, that is the end of the house tour. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, remember to leave a like on this video. It means a lot when I see you guys liking it. It shows the support you guys are leaving. It's, it's great. Also, comment down below if you guys have any worlds you want me to show off. If you guys have somehow a download, then just link it in the comments. I'll go look at it and maybe they'll be on one of the episodes here. But that is going to be the end. Like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. The link for this map will be in the description below, so go check it out if you really want to download it. And also, thank you so much if you do subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye. Hey guys, I actually did just forget something, and I forgot to mention who it was created by. So who created it was Marcus U or Mar Marcus YU. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but he was the creator, and he was also helped by Omega underscore Rex. So big shout out to them, and I almost forgot I literally stopped my recording, and then I was like, ah, oh, crap, I need to mention who did it because they did a great job. So those are the two, so Marcus U and Omega underscore Rex. Big shout out to them. Good job. Great map. And uh, yeah, that'll be the end of this video now. So see you guys in the next one. Bye.